The number one question when I tell anyone that is why are you running for chair? Well, during the last election cycle, things did not go great. Uh, anyone who was organizing, while the results were awesome, the organizing wasn't fun. So I had a chance to stop and think and think about the process. And what I've decided is that we need to do a better job organizing on the town committee and city committee level. Um, the reason for this is basically when we have campaigns, we organize around candidates. And then the election ends and the campaign ends and we've got nothing left. Now, so talking about the Buddha, the way it's got to start is you've got to have a meeting where you call an election. And the reason that I want to do that, and in my case it's because I'm running for chair, is we need a reason for the Democratic Town Committee members to show up. If you just have, keep having meetings, they're not going to show up. They just get bored. Now, because of our charter, Marshfield requires 30 days, and I'm going to say that everyone should do 30 days. So, from the actual call for a vote to the actual vote is 30 days long, which gives you four weeks. And the four weeks I've broken into four different things that I'm doing. The first reach is the outreach. So, as soon as Sean said he was stepping down. I declared my candidacy for town committee chair. The next day, I called every single member of the Democratic Town Committee. So there's 30 real members, and then another 20 uh, associate members and lifetime members. I called all of them. As soon as I called them, I sent them an email. After I sent them an email, I then tried to reach out to them on Facebook. So as of right now, out of the 30, active members, I've got 26 of them supporting me. Then I started my listening tour. I had these three coffee hours. So Marshfield, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Slack Tide, right on the corner. The point isn't that I wanted people to show up. The point is I wanted people to see that I was doing it. Because all the Democratic Town Committee members know the way you win elections is you listen to people. So they needed to see that I was doing stuff. So showed up all over the place. Then what I did was visibility. So I had this abstract idea that I just pitched to you. I now needed to break it down into seven points that I could talk about. And I posted it on all the Facebook pages and Twitter pages that I could. And if you go to my Facebook feed or my website, you will see that I actually break down the GCA process. So basically, I'm selling it to them. The last part, which will start tomorrow, is the part that all of us know, G-O-T-V. So once again, the 50 people that can actually decide this are getting phone calls tomorrow starting to remind them 27th is election day. Now, why did I do this? Well, because we've got to boot up the actual town committee. So the hard part next is building this, right? Because your, your town committee is in a state where it's probably got some resources and probably doesn't have any others. So I'm thinking the build out takes three months. And each one of the months is going to do something different. The first month for us will be June, and I'll build out the processes. And my marker sucks. Sorry about this. <laughs> this is why I had handouts. So in the month of June, I want to build out our data collection. I want to build out our outreach process. I want to build out our content process. And I want to build that block. Because we're doing six events per year, there will all be, always be an event to invite them to. If we make contact, great. We sign them up for the newsletter. Or we ask them if they like the newsletter. If we don't, 
we email the invite to them or use social media. That has a link into it, goes back to the town square. If we made contact rate, if we didn't, we go back to the newsletter. If we are able to get a hold of them within two weeks of initial contact, they get into the active list. If we're not able to make contact with them in two weeks, they just go on the regular list. John, I'll just say it's heavily reliant on social media. You're assuming that all the committee members are on social media. That's why we're using the automated calls. So that's why we're using the auto call and auto text. Yeah. And that's also why it's hugely important. These things are a huge deal. The postcards and the drops. Exactly what you're saying, Andy, is right. There's a sizable Especially population. With older members who are not on social media. Right? Yeah, it's it's a sizable possible population. So during the signature drive, we distributed these things to every household in Marshfield, and we also mailed some. And the weird thing is they started showing up, that people started coming to the event with these things and asking for more. So they're very effective, and like Andy pointed out, we can't just rely on social media. We've got to do in-world activities. Mail people stuff, drop it off at the door, do the automated phone calls, and so forth and so on. So the month of August is all about recruiting. Then we're going to launch it. I know every organizer hates visibilities because they'd rather have people at knocking doors than talking to people on the phone. But we're not in an election year, <clears throat> and we have to remind people why we are Democrats. So I want to do four types of visibilities. Number one, no place to hate. So Marshfield will go down to Dating Line Park, we'll hold signs, no place to hate. Number two, reproductive rights. Same thing, we'll go down there, hold signs about reproductive rights. Number three, Marshfield's a big union town. So this is a union town, is what the slogan will be. Same thing. The last one, Team democracy. I don't know if you noticed, our opponents have decided fascism is a better solution than democracy. So the whole point of this is that we have a place to rally. We go to that place, we hold our signs. We have professionally printed signs, but we have just as many handmade signs. Now the thing about this is I'm not saying that the town committee needs to do these four things, plus the civic engagement in it. What I'm saying is the towns around us need to do something, and we need to support them. October, we're going to do our first civic engagement event. So I think the first one's going to take two months to build up. Um, October will lend itself to a food drive. But I'm not going to dictate that. At my January, I'm sorry, where are we? At my May 27th election, I'm going to put a survey out there and ask people what, we, what they think our first civic engagement event should be. Uh, the last part is we're going to do this six times a year. So we're going to do it October, and then we're going to do it again in December. Those two set themselves up for toy drives and food drives. It makes it easy for us. We'll do it in February, we'll do it in April, keep doing it, keep building. Just remember, it's never a failure. It's always steps. Exactly. <laughs> so after a year, I've gotten I started out with absolutely no one behind me on anything. Right. And after a year, I think I have six people. I think that, honestly, I feel like, wow, I have six people um, that I can call up and they will actually answer the phone. Um, or if I send them an email, they will actually respond. So, Making progress. And then I think that those people will know other people. And so it becomes, I don't want to say exactly this because right. it sounds like Amway, but it, you know, or like that swab commercial. You know, it, the six people, and then those six people know six people when the... It, that. The progressive town square is a hugely important part of this. If somebody takes the time to type in your URL and go to your site for whatever reason, it's got to be full of things for them to do because they're interested,
It's like picking up the phone. When you pick up the phone, something just happened, you engaged. If it's your doctor, you're calling them back. If it's a salesperson, you're hanging out. We can get there, but we need a starting point, and I think this is the starting point.